Where are they? Where are they? I... Oh, no, I thought I left them here. I just... Oh, God, I need that other prescription. I just... thought I left it here. Oh, Rebecca. Pain getting to you, is it? Just give me my pills. Oh, now, now we wouldn't want you to take too many of these. Why don't you just let me worry about that? Oh, but what kind of friend would I be if I allowed you to over-medicate yourself? Just give them to me, Rebecca. No, 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 no. I'm only trying to help. You obviously don't know what's best for yourself right now. So help me, Rebecca. Oh, and then there's a the little problem about David. Oh, when I get my hands on you. See, your little plot to split up Sam and Grace is about to blow up in your face. Ah, oh, Ivy, you are going down in flames. Oh, and it just wouldn't be nearly as much fun to watch if you were anesthetized. No, I want you to feel every little bit of pain that's coming to you. I will sleep so much better knowing that you are in total agony. Go to hell. You see, once John's DNA test is in, everyone is going to know that he is not David and Grace's son, and your little plot to destroy Sam and Grace will be exposed. Oh, don't count on it, Becky. You've got nothing on me, and when all is said and done, it will be you with egg on that bitchy face of yours. I know that you told Sam Bennett that you thought I was the killer in an attempt to make him suspicious of me. It was no attempt, Rebecca. You are the prime suspect, and I do mean prime. Oh, and you're not? You had far more reason to kill Julian than I did, no matter how hard you try to take the focus off yourself. I didn't kill Julian. <gasps> Ivy, you really are a hoot. <laughs> oh, do you really think people are going to buy that one? You know... If you are going to cop a plea, you're going to have to try to have just a little bit more conviction in your voice and try to put a more earnest look in those beady little eyes of yours. <laughs> if anybody ends up in front of a jury, it's going to be you, Rebecca. And you better pray it's 12 old, decrepit, nearsighted men you can bribe with sexual favors so you don't stand a chance. You're looking at life in the state pen. Got you scared, haven't I, Becky? Me? Now, why would I be scared when your little plot to destroy Sam and Grace is about to come crashing down around you? Well, I wouldn't pop the champagne just yet. Oh, I won't. But it's definitely on ice. You have no proof that I did anything, and you know it. Whereas you are completely innocent. Oh, motive, opportunity, and gun. That little trifecta is going to put you just where you belong. I did not kill Julian. You know, even if you do manage to wiggle out of the murder charge somehow, Rebecca, I've got plenty of other things on you. Other things? Oh, yes. Like lately, I've been wondering, how did my letter to Sam and proof of Ethan's paternity really end up in the tabloid office? Teresa. Yes, Teresa. But you know, when you think about it, Teresa didn't have anything to gain by that and actually everything to lose. Ethan. Whereas someone say, oh, I don't know, your daughter Gwen, she had everything to gain. <laughs> Ivy, where do you come up with this stuff? Well, one thing I can tell you for certain, Rebecca, Ethan would be very interested to know who took his life and the Crane name away from him. Oh, and I think Ethan would be very interested in knowing how the tabloid found out that Teresa was pregnant with Julian's child. And I don't think he would be very happy to know that his mother destroyed his relationship with the woman he planned to marry. You have no proof of that. What's going on here? So what's all the yelling in here? What's going on, Mother? Nothing. We were, we were talking. That's, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> At the top of your lungs? I, I suppose I, I did cry out at one point. I, uh, I didn't want to tell you this, Ethan, but I, I've been in a great deal of pain lately, and I was 
trying to take one of my pain pills, and Rebecca wouldn't give it to me, and I, I got angry. Well, Rebecca, why wouldn't you let her take a pill? Because she's taken too many. Dr. Russell is very concerned that she's over-medicating. Mother, I didn't... I didn't know you were in so much pain. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to worry you, darling. I, I know you've had a lot on your mind with Teresa lying to you and her being pregnant by Julian. I, I just didn't want to be a burden. Mother, you're never a burden. Look, uh, I'm going to go get us some tea. I'll be right back. Okay, what are you two really up to? Nothing. No, nothing. <laughs> Please. But I am happy to see you here with Ethan. Oh, Gwen, this is the time to strike. Much as I hate to agree with your mother about anything, she's right. With a little push, you and Ethan could be at the altar. I don't want to hear this. What do you mean you don't want to hear this? What, whatever you two are up to, I want no part of it. I love Ethan, and I, I want to be with him, but not like this. Well, what other way is there? Look, Mother, I'm going to talk to Dr. Russell and see what can be done about your pain. I'm concerned about you. Oh, thank you, Ethan. You're such a good son. But I know you have your own problems to deal with now. I'm, I'm just glad Gwen is there for you. Where is she? What have you done to her? Answer me! Laura, what are you talking about? What have we done to whom? Teresa! What about her? She's... She's so depressed and so devastated that... I think she's thinking of taking her own life. What? Oh, please. Suicide? That is so transparent. Transparent? It is nothing but cheap melodrama. Do not fall for it, Ethan. Please, give us a break. You shut your mouth, Rebecca. How dare you? Did she come here? No, why would she? I believe that she knows that you are the one that went to the tabloid, telling them that she was pregnant with Julian's child. That's absurd. Is it? Is it? You despise her. You and Rebecca, both of you. You've driven her to such despair that she believes that the only choice she has is to take her own life. Mother, well, that isn't true. You weren't responsible for the tabloid finding out that Teresa was pregnant, were you? Were you, Mother? Come on, Teresa, answer. I don't know if she took her cell phone, Ethan. I'll try back in a couple of minutes. But then it might be too late. Oh, this is so pathetic. Nothing but manipulation. You are a wicked woman, Rebecca. What, because I speak the truth? Mother, you didn't answer my question. Now, did you drive Teresa to this? To what? We don't know that she's done anything to herself. She was so devastated that she said she had nothing to live for. Well, it's not my fault. I certainly hope not for your sake, Mother. And yours, Rebecca. Teresa is her own worst enemy. She did this to herself. I mean, nobody forced her to sleep with Julian, to marry him, to get pregnant. Everything that comes out of your vile mouths is a lie. You've had a hand in this. Both of you. All you care about is your own worthless selves. You've destroyed my baby's life. You've driven her to despair. And if... If she takes her life tonight, it will be on your heads. No answer. Look, there's, there's no time to lose, but we'll find her. But how? I don't know where she could be. Don't worry, Polar. We'll find her. Let's go. You know, if Teresa does kill herself, it'll be one less problem that both of us have to deal with. 
Well, you and I finally agree on something, Ivy. If Teresa and her baby die, there will only be two Mrs. Cranes left. 